Hey, welcome back, YouTubers, to another hashtag TTH unboxing and review. <clears throat> Today, it is a dual unboxing. So, what can we see before us? Well, as you may have heard from that theme song, yes, British Airborne. Um, I picked this up not really knowing what I was getting into because I've been a Axis player for a very long time. Um, my current force is the Waffen SS. Um, I've had an absolute blast with them. Um, won a couple of games, very, very strong faction. Um, also just generally fun to play with, lot, lots of options. Um, my very early war allied army, which you may have seen in some of my videos, in one of the videos that I did um, a while back, is the French. Now, because the French are not as... Um, I'm talking in terms of stock now, okay? There, there is quite a bit of stock for Warlord games for the French army, but it's not as easy to get as your normal standard British, American, German forces, as you can see in these types of boxes. Like most of the French stuff I've ordered so far, apart from the infantry, haven't even come in boxes because there have been a lot of direct orders. Um, so the French I'm slowly bolstering, and I'm going to keep playing because I'm actually enjoying playing very early war French. Um, it's just obviously getting my hands on the forces and that but so i've been deciding what f new force to go with not hectically huge um so i went with british airborne um purely because I've, I've been very fond of them in terms of the history and um the, i've watched them in a couple of battle reports and they, they are i mean they're not early war they're mid and late but they are quite handy to have, um, obviously if played correctly, and you don't need a huge army, you know, they, they can work without tanks, knowing they're airborne. Um, so, yeah, and also uh, the, one of the big campaigns I've always followed um, in this hobby and that, and also scale model building was Operation Market Garden. I know it wasn't a particularly good operation for the Allies, but it was something that I followed quite really, and again, seen a couple of the movies on and, and read about. So, it's a dual unboxing, as I've said. So you've got, let's first dive into this. So, we have the small British Airborne Starter Army. Now the very nice thing about this compact little force is, as you can see by the scale, it is not a big box. But, if we flip it over, there you have it guys. That is what comes in the box. It is a 998 point army um, you guys can see it there in front of you but I'll speed over quickly you get a second lieutenant with one extra rifleman veteran artillery observer for ba basically for free a um, couple of paratroop sections Vickers machine gun team light mortar team medium mortar team with spotter peer team sniper team flamethrower team and a six pound anti-tanger now that is not bad for a starter army um, I know that the prices for, for Warlord have unfortunately gone up. Um, I know everyone's trying to, you know, keep their businesses going, but for some people around the world in the countries where their currencies aren't hectically fantastic, putting the prices up has really made it difficult for us to continue into this hobby. Um, that's why I picked this up because this was old stock. So I got it at a really good rate because the new price is a little different. But anyways, enough negativity. So, um... Yeah, in terms of the box, this is what you're getting. It is an absolute steal, honestly. Um, I, it's yeah. I mean, there's not much more I can say. I mean, it's it's a fully equipped army uh, force, and it's it's basically a replica of what how the paratroopers would have been kitted, you know, and their their um, sections when they were dropping, and especially in Market Garden as well, like when they did the operations, you know, they had empty tank, they had flamethrower, they had sniper, piet, you know, um, and then of course the paratrooper sections. So, brilliant starter set, um, I'm hoping, I'm, I'm going to do a very, very rushed build and paint on this because there's a game coming up by Wednesday next week and I want to have these done, so yeah, it's going to be a lot of building coming up. Um, but I'm sure I can push through. I did my entire S Waffen SS starter box in a week. So this is not as not as much, but um, uh, of not as not as much miniatures as that set, but we'll see what happens. So that is what you get in the set. 
So let us look at the second unboxing, the very handy brain carrier. Now I picked this up just to have as a bit of a transport for these guys. Uh, yes, they were more the, the infantry side. Um, you know, the, the Brens and that, they only appeared near the Airborne, obviously, when the Airborne were being resupplied and for transporting around. The, the Airborne, would, you would have more likely seen driving around on Jeeps. But this is something very handy to have, and it's only, I believe this is like a 48-point model, so that with this, it's, it's not bad. So, lovely box art, same with the other box, so we dive into it. Gives you a bit of a history, sorry about the glare guys. What you get in the box, your, your card and um, decals, smoke, fire markers, and then I think you get three figures and a brain. So, yeah, I'm, I, I haven't personally owned one of these even in my scale model building years, so it's, it's going to be a first and should be fun. I think I'm going to do a modified base for this though. Um, some of the players I've been playing against, I see a lot of their vehicles, they've actually based them. Um, I personally haven't, but I think for this particular model and this force, I'm going to definitely. So, let us get these unboxed and I will be right back. Stay tuned. And we're back. So, it's just a pile of plastic in front of me, as you can see. So, for the Bren, you get your manual. Um, very basic. Not an, It's only two sprues. So, yeah, that's just one side of that. You can do away with that. The Bren sprue, yeah... Fairly straightforward, not a huge model. Three crew in that Bren gun for the front bow and the top. So yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. So yeah, there's the other sprue with the tracks. I think I'll get started on this first. Um, then we have, from the other set, we have the bag A and B. Okay, well, that's interesting. This looks like the MG team and the mortar. And then, so I think they put that in one bag, that's new. And then we have the 17 pound over here. Sorry guys, it is quite fast, but I mean, it's none of it's built yet, so that's what you're going to get in the box. Also with the Bren, let's just get focused there. Yeah, inexperienced, 48 points, regular 60, veteran 72, so not bad at all. A couple of these and you'll be good to go. Um, special rules, it's open topped, uh, turn on the spot, so it's recce, carrier only, add a pimple mounted LMG for 10 points, replace forward facing LMG with boys anti-tank rifle, ooh, I think I might do that, um, light machine gun 36 range, 4 shots, penetration, nothing hull mounted, so yeah, it, it, not bad, this little tracked piece of death over here is actually quite interesting, so to get it done um, and as we hear nothing too important just the bases you get in the other set and then all these sprues are identical so I'm not gonna go into too much detail with that it's basically what you're gonna get in the box I have seen these sprues before I had a bit of a British faction much earlier so um, yeah nothing new there you get your Polish soldier heads you get your British heads your torsos and um, yeah, the different weaponry so, cool. That is that. I'm just seeing now to make sure I'm not lying to you guys. Yes, that that is all the same. Um, I wonder if the officer, so the officer is most likely in one of these and the observer looks like it. So, yeah, guys, that is the unboxing of the two sets. Uh, you guys can let me know what you think down below in the comments. Um, Gonna get started on these right away, actually. As I said, I want to get them done. Can I quickly pop that in front of the camera? So there's your Polish forces and then your British forces. So, yeah, not too bad. Color scheme looks okay. Um, I've got an idea in the head. I don't have all these colors, but I'll make do. Um, in terms of the base, I'm gonna keep it quite simple. So, yeah, nothing, nothing too hectic there. Um, so, yeah, we shall get cracking. And then I will probably do a review maybe when these are done, maybe. Um, the next video is definitely going to be an update on the Black Seas Naval Combat Board. Um, that's in progress. I had a bit of trouble with paints. Um, a particular paint I had, they didn't have stock in. So, But enough rambling. So, yes, this is the unboxing of the British Airborne Starter Army.
and the brain carrier so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments thanks again i'm now over 200 by a few points hopefully now the next goal is 500 help me get there to some of my fans already who have commented and said they're going to follow till the million i hope so and please keep following the dream um and i will continue subscribing to your um your channels i'm going to quickly throw in the shop's flyer that and then i'll put it in the link down below where i bought this lovely set please check them out two seconds guys once again sword and board thank you guys you're awesome keep it up please give them a look uh, a, a look up and shout out if you're in the area or online they do great um, they do shipping quite well online as well not quite well amazingly so um yeah please give them a look out huge thumbs up thanks sword and board um we have a game currently going at this shop as well for bolt action those of you in the area give it a come and give it a look see it's usually every wednesdays so as i said give them a check out i give them a full thumbs up and i will leave their link down below in the description so yes that was the unboxing guys let me know what you think down below in the comments hit that like button please it means a lot and it will help the channel so much um and I will see you all in the next video. Happy wargaming. Cheers.